Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So for today's look, it is this inspired rainbow look. And the reason why it's inspired is because, if you guys didn't know, it is Pride Month. Yes it is, ladies and gentlemen, it is Pride Month. And in New York City, it's a really big thing. They literally celebrate every Sunday in a different borough. So for instance, the beginning of this month, it was in Queens, and they go from Brooklyn, Bronx, Staten Island, to even the end, which would be in Manhattan, which is a huge, huge festival. So, um, this one is for you guys, for all my LBGT, for the community, it's for you guys. Um, so if you guys wanna see how I did this look, then please keep watching. So this video is a voiceover, and excuse my stuffiness, I am really bad this year with my allergies. <laughs> but we're starting off with the look using Kiko Milano's Hydro Pro Day Cream. It's one of my favorite creams, it's so good. It has SPF 15 in it, and we're, then we're going to use uh, Benefit's Professional Matte Rescue Primer. And following that, we're going to do our eye look. So we're going to use Urban Decay's Primer Potion as a base. And then after that, I'm going to use the NYX Cosmetics uh, Eye Base in white. And the reason why we're using white is because we're using a lot of vibrant colors. So I want the colors to stand out a lot. Now I'm taking the Morphe 12 P palette and I'm going to grab the yellow color here and I'm going to be using with for my brush the Morphe MB10 brush. I really like this brush because it picks up a lot of color and it's very very precise. It's actually a concealer brush but I use it for an eyeshadow brush and I'm applying it to the inner corner of my eye bringing it backwards and next I'm going to be grabbing the orange color. With this look you literally have to know your colors because it's not, it's not going to blend naturally. So then I'm going to be taking my Morphe M521 brush to apply that red color and then I'm going to be taking the Morphe R40 brush to blend out any of those harsh lines that we have on the eyes. Next we're taking this green color and I'm doing the same thing that I did on the opposite eye. So I'm going to be applying this to the tear duct area and from there I'm going to be using the, like it's like a baby blue color from the palette. <clears throat> so. With this, you I'm doing two different types of blue so it can blend naturally and have literally like a perfect, I guess like, sense of transitioning. So then I'm picking up like a more darker blue and then after that I'm picking up this purple color here and I'm applying it to the outer corner and I'm taking um, the M412 brush to apply this. I really like this brush because it's very pointed so it's getting exactly where I want it and I'm taking it basically outwards. So it could just have like almost like that wash of color coming out of the purple. Now it's time for the brows and foundation. So I'm going to be using is the Benefit Cabrow in number 5. And I didn't show a tutorial of this because I do it all the time. So now I'm going to be taking the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation in bronze. I didn't show much of the under eye shadow tutorial part because it's very much self explanatory you're just going to do the same thing that you did on top of the lid but I used a smudger brush it was from BH Cosmetics so I don't really know the name of it but I basically used that to do the eye look and then I took the um, Morphe M412 brush just to like basically blend all that out and then now I'm taking a NYX um, eyeliner pencil in Blue Sunrise it's the slide on eye pencil and I'm applying that towards where like the blues were in the area I didn't bring it all the way um, to the front <laughs> and then um, I'm basically doing the same thing I did in the opposite eye self-explanatory it's the same technique that I did on top of my eye and I'm using that same brush I'm taking MAC's Vanilla Pigment and I'm going to be using 
basically what's in the back of the cap. I'm taking an angled brush and I'm going to be applying it to my brow bone area. Honey, when I tell you you have to improvise, you improvise. So I'm using the Kiko Milano Everlasting Color Lip Liner in 405 and I'm doing the same technique that I did with the blue NYX pencil. Now I'm taking the Morphe 10C palette and I'm using those two colors to apply for my concealer and the brush that I'm using is the G33 brush from Morphe. Everybody's favorite moment is when you bake. So I'm be taking the Kat Von D Lock It Sunny Powder using a disposable sponge and basically applying it where I bake. And then I'm going to be using the Morphe Tenty Palette and I'm going to be grabbing this color here. Yep, that one. And I'm going to be using the G33 brush to apply this for my contour. Now to apply some lashes. The lashes I'm going to be putting on are really not that serious. I'm not even bothered showing you the tutorial. I'm just basically showing you that I put them on. <laughs> then I'm taking the contour kit from Anastasia. This is the OG, the original palette. And I'm taking Havana and Fawn and I'm applying this for my contour. And the brush that I had used was the MP4 brush. And then I'm using the Kiko Milano Summer 2.0 blush in Coral Bay to apply for my blush. Then taking the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter and I'm taking the Morphe M310 brush to apply this on. Now time for the lips. I'm going to be taking Colored Rain's Matte Lip Paint in Fame. I love this lip. It just looks like, literally it looks like fucking copper and I love the way that this lip color made this look. It's absolutely gorgeous and it's one of my favorite lip paints ever. And now I'm going to take Max Fix Plus to finish off the look. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something cool today. This video means a lot to me mostly because of the fact that I do have a lot of gay friends. I do have a lot of gay family members and this one is basically for you guys. I am a huge supporter and I feel like just because I'm straight doesn't mean that you guys don't have the right to love who you want to love and be who you want to be so this video goes out to you guys if you guys love the video please give it a thumbs up it would mean a lot to me and if you're new to the channel please subscribe that would mean awesome that would mean awesome that would mean a lot to me if you haven't followed me on any of my social medias i'll leave them in the description box below so where you can check me out and i will catch you guys in my next video